Why do you think Black Panther was received so well? I think Black Black Panther was received well uh, because it was uh, reflective of something I think the society was actually yearning for, though uh, it had to take courage for uh, it to actually happen. The story, a story like that, characters like that, a world like that. I think the world really had been eager to see something like that, and we've been denied it for uh, ever because of a very uh, misconceived notion that things have to come from a Western perspective in order to have resonance and uh, be marketable. And I think that's, um, you know, what, what Black Panther did was it brought all of the aspects that one can imagine um, about, uh, you know, a world that is uh, full of, uh, you know, great character, great story, um, great arcs, um, discovery, uh, you know, a hero's arc, all those things. And it embodied it in a world that was full of uh, just originality and um, a lot of beautiful culture, cultural celebration that we don't get to ever see, though I think the world was actually keen to see it. And I think that was great. That's what great art always does. It sort of reflects what is... Um, unexpected, um, but what is uh, obvious when you really think about it. And it reflects that this thing has been neglected, but people actually want to see it, you know, and um, that's what great art does. It knows that. So I think Black Panther just knew that it was bringing something that the world wants to see, but hasn't expressed that it wants to see yet, but it wants to see it. And that's the, the sort of forecasting that artists, great artists have. And so I think that's part of what made uh, Black Panther resonate. How did it feel reuniting with the cast and filmmakers? Uh, you know, it was it was really important that, that that reuniting because you know we were dealing with the loss of Chadwick, and uh, you know walking through this that grief uh, together was um, you know it was intense. It was frightening. We didn't I didn't you don't know when grief is going to hit you. You don't know how it's going to go. But having each other was the key thing that uh, really galvanized us and get, brought us comfort and, and brought us strength and, and allowed us to to do the work to the best of our abilities to, to honor Chadwick. And following up on that, how does this film honor Chadwick Boseman? Uh, I think, you know, the, the filmmaker and, um, you know, Ryan and uh, Marvel, they do a fantastic job in um, really infusing the story with that experience of grief and 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 that journey to to healing. And really, uh, the, 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 the who T'Challa was is so uh, deeply felt in this film, and it's a guiding light to, um, to all the characters, but, uh, you know, very specifically um, to his sister. But it just allows us to um, to see the impact that he, his character brought, um, and there are other ways that um, that Marvel and, and Ryan have, have put his image into the film that I think are very beautiful. And re watching all these characters uh, journey through their their grief and their loss is um, is something really um, really really it is around. It really is is. Uh, it wraps it's wrapped around the, the the need of of all of us to process that loss and i think that is um a way that he's honored okoye is on a more emotional journey in this film how did you connect with this new side of her i mean it's just really about circumstances if you take into account all the things that okoye has been through um it, it, there's no question that um there there's that she's going to have emotional uh, responses. Uh, she can't, she is very much human and she is very much a person who um, feels deeply, who has, who, who loves her nation and loves this family. Um, the royal family loved, loved T'Challa very deeply and is dealing with, with uh, grief that she hasn't even begun to process. So uh, the emotions that she experiences, I think, are very connected to that. Um, and, you know, it's just really about l allowing her to be fully human. Uh, I, I think that's, that's really what every actor wants for their character. And allow and when, when that is uh, permitted to them through the story that's being told, allowing them that is, is of course, um, you know, something that you, you, you want to do.
Describe how Black Panther Wakanda celebrates strong female characters. Why is this important for the generations to come? Uh, it's important for the generations to come uh, to see uh, how women are empowered in this film is because, you know, we definitely uh, haven't seen enough female leadership in the world. And so, you know, these types of examples are still very important uh, in terms of little girls and women feeling reflected uh, back to themselves. And, and that's the power of storytelling. You know, you, it's astounding how powerful and important storytelling is. Sometimes it's actually jarring how much, you know, you see the impact of story uh, hit young women and girls, or hit society rather. The impact of storytelling hitting society is very, very, very real. And you can often say, oh, that's just entertainment. But actually, it's more than that. And there's something about people seeing themselves represented. There's something about narratives that take you through a human journey that can really speak to people's psyches and hearts and cultures. And and it is a, it is a very powerful thing and it, not to be taken lightly when you're uh, you know, in front of the camera or you when you're creating these stories. So I think there was, I'm, I'm thankful for the fact that these, sto both movies uh, gave women uh, a role in the forefront, allowed them to be uh, so uh, present in their own full potential. Uh, you know, also the power of even the T'Challa character um, in the first one, he had his counselors and his general and his, the head of his, in, of his, uh, you know, technology were all women. And um, so the the idea of them navigating his loss and, and navigating how they um, de devise this world with without him is something that was very organic to the film's progression um, into part two. But then also, it's also very important for um, us to see these women not just be characters in the first movie, but go through complex journeys in the second because that really allows the characters to be um, really representative of the fact that our full humanness as women can be explored and must be explored, and, and, and we, should, um, we should embrace that. And final question, what can audiences look forward to when this film hits the big screen? Audiences can look forward to every, everything you can imagine, I think. You know, there's just a lot of everything in this film, but it's also deeply rooted in honoring Chadwick. It's deeply rooted in something um, something uh, that is also very much an exploration of, of just our humanness and, and the journey of loss and, and grief. But then it's also, you know, it's a full journey. It's a full ride. It's, it's also full of a lot of great action. It's full of a lot of, hu it's got humor in it. It's got, it's got all types of aspects to it that, um, I think really allow people to leave there feeling comforted through the journey um, of the grief and the loss, but also feeling um, fulfilled um, in the sense, I hope. And also the idea of bringing in this new world of um, indigenous people from, um, from the South American region, which I think is um, really epic and really exciting and very underseen. And uh, that representation in the film, I think is also gonna be a real exciting element for people.